Caroline, sometimes known as Mrs. Rouse. And welcome to this term's video worship. Our theme this term is Amazing Bodies. We are going to discover fun facts about the human body. Take part in some games, challenges or activities that will help teach us more about our bodies. And we'll be exploring some Bible stories relating to the body that will help us understand more about God and his love for each one of us. At the end of our worship together, we will have a few minutes to reflect on all that we have heard and consider what it means to us. Our bodies are amazing! Christians believe that God created us. We all look different and unique, but our bodies are made up of the same parts. How many parts of the body can you count? Head, hands, arms, nose, eyes, ears, feet and legs. There are just so many different parts. Here are some amazing facts about our bodies. An adult has 206 bones in their body, which makes up their skeleton. A baby has 300. As the baby grows, some of those bones join up. The smallest bone, the stirrup, is in our ear. The longest bone, the femur, is in our leg. Our nose can smell more than 50,000 different smells. Our heartbeat can change depending on what music you listen to. Our bodies are made up of three main systems. The skeleton, the bones that give us structure and protect our heart and internal organs, the muscular skeletal system, this is the muscle and tissue covering the bones. As we exercise our muscles stretch and change shape. Muscles help our bodies move, they help us chew, blink and even wiggle our tongues. And then the nervous system, this is our brain's command centre. To move our brain sends signals to our muscles which then move our bones. The next time you run, skip or jump, just think about all the different parts of your body working together so you can move. The body is made up of many parts. The body is one thing but it's made up of many parts and all the parts make up one body. What parts can you see? We have arms and hands, ears to hear, feet and legs which help us stand, a nose, eyes, and a mouth, as well as many other parts. And if the foot should say to the body, oh, I'm not part of the body, would that stop it being part of the body? Let's put that back. And if the hand were to say to the body, oh, I'm not part of the body, would that stop it being part of the body? The ear might say, because I'm not an eye, I don't belong to the body. But it would not stop it being part of the body. If the whole body were just an eye, how would it hear? It wouldn't be able to hear music, talking or even funny jokes. If the whole body were an ear, then how would it smell? It wouldn't be able to smell, not even freshly baked cookies. But God has arranged every part of the body just as he wanted them to be, each with its own job. Many parts, but one body. The eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head can't say to the foot, 
I don't need you. I know even parts of the body that seem to be weaker are very important. God did not want our bodies to be divided. Because if one part of the body suffers, out, then every part of the body suffers with it. Out, out, out. What things are you good at, I wonder? Look at Mr. Potato Head's body parts. In a team, what part of the body are you? Are you good at talking or singing? Are you good at listening? Are you good at helping? Are you good at noticing? Are you good at getting things done? Perhaps you're good at being kind, helping, writing and smiling. What skills and talents can you share with others to help make a difference? No matter how talented you may or may not think you are, when working together we need others to help us and they need us. You are amazing but you can't do everything on your own. Let's take a moment now to think and be thankful about all the people around us who help and support us to get things done. People at school, people at home, friends, families, people in our communities. Christians believe God made every one of us special and he wants us all to work together and play our part. And if one part of the body is honoured, woohoo, new hat, then every part rejoices with it. Woohoo, new glasses. Woohoo, super, super medal. Are any parts of the body more important than other parts? No, all parts have their own jobs to do for the whole body to function well they need to work together. And no one person is more important than another. Everyone has something special to contribute. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we were able to see how valuable our key workers were in keeping vital services going during the time of lockdown. Many of those workers previously may have felt that their jobs might not have been as important as other jobs shop workers, cleaners, hospital staff, teachers, delivery people and lots more. I wonder what jobs made a difference to you and your family during lockdown. TEAM is an acronym of TOGETHER EVERYONE ACHIEVES MORE. In other words, when everyone shares their gifts and talents and what they're good at, they add a different quality to what can be achieved overall because everyone can support and help one another. Christians believe the body of Christ, which is the church, is put together by God. Each person working together and sharing their gifts and talents and abilities with each other to make the world a better place. Every person has an important part to play, just like each part of the body pulls together to move and get things done. As you can see, I have got a very talented Mr Potato Head who I'm gonna, going to hold very close as we pray together today. If you'd like to join in, say Amen at the end of the prayer. Thank you so much for making each one of us so very special and for giving us individual gifts and talents. Help us to share the things we are good at to help others grow stronger as we work together. Amen.